today we're learning how to make this nice rocket launch presentation in PowerPoint all the way from scratch, including the icons, animations and everything that you see on the slide. We'll also look at how we can create nice slide transitions with these effects as the one you can see on the screen right now. The tutorial consists of three steps. First, we'll look at creating the icon of the rocket and the clouds. Then we'll look at how we can animate the slide and eventually how we can use it for slide transitions. Let's start from a blank slide. We're going to right click format background and add a gradient fill. Here we're choosing for a purple radial gradient fill with a little bit of light in the center and then gradually towards the upper and outer corners, it becomes a darker purple. Let's start with creating the shape or the rocket. And for that, we're going to drag a circle, hold shift while dragging the circle to create a perfect one. Remove outlines. We're going to hold control shift and create a duplicate circle. I'll give it a different color so we can easily see what's happening. Now select both, go to format shape, merge and intersect because we want the middle part of these circles for our rocket shape. Hold control shift to scale it upwards. And if you want, you can hold control key and drag these sides to adjust. This shape looks quite good, maybe a little bit smaller. There we go. Now we're going to create a few of the elements from the rocket. Now let's make this gray. So we're going to give it a nice gray color and we're going to create a duplicate. So hold control and shift and create a copy. Go to insert shapes and we're going to insert a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle because we're looking for this top area here, the cover of the rocket. Select both and fragment because we want the different shapes and then we can remove the items that we don't need. Then position it on top of the rocket and give it a different color. In our case, it's going to be red. And this way we cut out that little nice part, which we position on top. And that gives us a first part of the rocket. Next, we're going to create the window. For that, we're going to add a circle on the slide. So drag it on the screen, hold control shift and hold control shift again on the second one to create a smaller copy. Position it on top, remove the outline. And this one, we're going to make it a light blue. This blue looks quite good. For the outer circle, we don't need outline, so we can remove that. Grab both and position them in the middle of the rocket. Control G or right click group to combine them together and then make it smaller until it has the right size. Now let's do the same for the bottom. And for that, we're going to add a rectangle because the rocket, it doesn't have this pointy side at the bottom. So we're going to select rocket shape, select the rectangle, merge shapes and we're going to subtract this way we create this flat bottom hold control shift to create a copy again and add a rectangle to only the bottom part select both fragment and we're looking for this small part at the bottom remove the outline and then position it on the rocket and it's already starting to look like a rocket now we need these parts on the side and for that we're going to add a circle hold shift and create a copy and we're going for this half moon type of shape let's position them like this select them both and do subtract let's see if we can position them nicely on the rocket we don't need an outline for that and we're going to right click send to back hold control shift to create a copy rotate flip horizontally and then position it at the same height on the other side send it back again and this is starting to look quite nice now if we want to add more life to the icon this is already good if you just want a basic rocket version but you can also add some details and for that we're going to work with gradients and inner shadows let's right click format shape on the rocket go to the effects tab shadow and we're going for an inner shadow from the bottom right we're going to increase the blur Play around with the angle until you have this side covered in shadow. You can add a little bit of a distance and then reduce the transparency so it's not too hard. Play around with the blur. That looks quite okay. There we go. We do the same for the red parts. So we can select them all at once. Go to effects, inner shadow, all from the same side. And then play around with the blur, transparency and the distance. We rotate the angle so it comes from the same side. 
and that gives us quite a cool effect. Here we, on the right one, we might want to go to shadow, adjust the angle so everything matches on the picture. It's like the light comes in from the left side and then gives a shadow on everything on the right. If you want to add a specific formatting from one object to another, you can select the first object. This one has a drop shadow. The glass or the outer ring doesn't. You can go to format. You can do copy formatting. And then you can paste it on that specific object. In this case, we've grouped them together. So we need to ungroup them first. So we can select only the red part. Go to format and then add the formatting to that. That is always an easy trick if you want to, or if you're working with multiple items. Now let's select the glass, right click format, and also add a inner shadow here. That will give a pretty cool effect on the glass. Let's maybe make this one come from the top right. This instantly gives a, a very 3D effect on your drawing or your vector drawing. A few more elements that we could add is the bolts. So let's zoom in on the glass. You can zoom in further than this standard plus or minus icon. If you use control and scroll, then you can zoom in a little bit further. Drag a circle, no outline, and we're going to make this dark red. And let's position it in the middle on top of the glass. Hold control, shift to create a copy, and let's do that on all sides. Now we can select all four, control G, control C, control V to create a copy, rotate them 45 degrees, and then position them in between. There we go. This way we have all the different bolts. Right click, ungroup again to have them individually. It would be nice if we give a little bit, we add some gradient to it, so format object, gradient fill, and let's go from dark red to lighter red, and eventually a very light touch. We don't need radial, we're going for linear and make sure it comes from the bottom left. Increase the darkness, just add a little bit of a light touch. There we go. Those are some quite nice looking bolts. Now let's also copy those for the top. So hold alt while dragging to create copies and position them on the top of your rocket to add some details. We can scroll down and let's do the same for the bottom. Position one in the center. Let's zoom in and create some copy here as well. One more to the outside and on the left. There we go. This looks like quite a nice rocket. Now we can group all the items together. Right click group. And this way we can easily scale the rocket, make it smaller, make it a lot larger. We can rotate it and we can start playing with the rocket. Now we also want some of the fire below the rocket. So we're going to start from a circle. We're going to edit shape, edit points, and drag the bottom point, drag it downwards. Hold the handles and hold control shift to select both and drag them both to the center. This gives us quite a pointy circle. Format shape, bottom one, we're going to make it orange. We don't need an outline for this one. We're going to add inner shadows, increase the transparency, increase the blur, and maybe the distance. That really depends on your personal style. Smaller, create a copy, position it on top, make it smaller, and then the outer one, we're going to make it darker. So let's nudge this over to the orange side and then decrease the size of the yellow one and position it in the middle. You can group them together, same thing here, and either position them behind the rocket and you can connect it or you can leave some space in between both work. That's again, personal style preference. And as a last detail, let's zoom in on the window and add that finishing touch. It's going to be a circle. We're going to drag a circle, more of an oval, doesn't have to be a perfect circle and make it a very light blue. Position this on top of the window and then we're going to create a copy and a smaller one put it right next to it. That gives some illusion of a reflection on the window since the light is coming from the top left. This will give the illusion of reflection on the window. And this is a pretty cool looking rocket. You can group everything together and then start playing around with the rocket. Now the fun part starts and we can start animating and adding some other elements to the slide. Let's right click duplicate and create some clouds. So position the rocket to the side, add some circles, 
we're going to make these white, no outline, and hold control while you create some copies. And one in the middle, select them all, hold shift while selecting, right click and group, and then you can scale this down. We're going to right click ungroup first, and let's merge these together so they act as one shape. Add some shadow, shadow to the top, increase transparency, increase size, and mainly the blur. Hold control and create some copies on your slide. You can make them smaller and send them to the back. So if we position them on the slide, we make them smaller as we send them to the back. And the front ones, we can make them a bit larger. Maybe a few more and one more here. That looks quite cool. Increase those. This one we don't need. And then we can give our rocket. We can position our rocket. We can rotate it 45 degrees. Make it a bit smaller. Position it here next to the smaller clouds. Because that's where the liftoff power comes from. Position everything until you're happy with the result. And now we can start animating the slide. So what we're going to do is all the clouds from the right side. We're going to select them. Animate. Open the animation pane. Effect options. They're going to rotate clockwise. Timing. It can be, let's say, 10 seconds. Triggers. The first one we're going to play with previous. So everything starts playing automatically. And it can play until the end of the slide. So repeat until end of the slide. Now let's select the clouds on top. We're going to add the animation spin, but these are going to turn anti-clockwise, counterclockwise. Duration, same, 10 seconds, and they should end only until, or repeat until the end of the slide. Let's ungroup the rocket, and let's first play the animation. Oops, we forgot to select this one. Should also be with previous, and let's play. And here we can see the clouds rotating and the rocket in the position. The clouds are rotating quite fast, so we can select everything. And let's maybe adjust this to 15 seconds for rotation. That looks a bit slower, a bit um, easier on the eye. Another few things we can animate is the rocket, but mainly the fire. We're going to add a grow and shrink transition or effect on that. It doesn't have to be this large. Let's put it on 115. Auto reverse, because we want to rotate it or reverse it at the end. Put it on three seconds. And then one of the two, the second one, we're going to add a delay of 1.5 seconds. So they alternate in shrinking and growing. Make sure that it's set with play with previous. And let's preview. This is quite a nice looking slide. If you want to add some content, you can easily add a text box. Let's call this one rocket launch. Avenir next, make it white, increase the size, change it to heavy. Maybe let's go for a Montserrat. That will look just a little bit better in this case. Make it black a little bit larger, about 120. Rocket and launch. Select both, send them to back. And also here we can add this inner shadow effect. Oh, and also here we can go to text options and add this inner shadow effect. The text itself, we can make it white or give it a very light blue and that really matches with the slide. This gives kind of a paper cutout effect on on the slide, which is quite nice, I think. Reduce the transparency, blur a little bit, and then let's preview. This is quite a nice slide as an opening for your presentation. Now let's look at the last slide that we can create. So we're going to duplicate the first one, reduce the size of your rocket. We're going to copy some of the clouds. We're going to start with the smaller ones next to the rocket. We can open the animation pane because we're going to remove all of the animation. The animations from it create a copy and then gradually make them larger as we create more on the slide until we cover the large part or the bottom of your presentation and they can be really quite large in the in the bottom there we go spread them out a bit increase some in size decrease others make it flow and feel natural and then send it to the back there we go now what we want to do is we want to make a transition to the next slide so we're going to insert a rectangle, make it white, no outline, positioned at the bottom of the slide. It's hard to see where the bottom of the slide is, so I'm going to copy this to the first slide, position it at the bottom, go to format shape and add a gradient fill. It can be a linear gradient fill. We only need two stops and both stops can be white 
And then the top one, we're going to add transparency to it. Add maybe one in between with half transparency. Top one is 100% and it should not come from a corner. So I'm going to increase the white, maybe add a few stops in between. There we go. Add some more transparency. Just have to make sure that at the bottom we have solid white. This looks quite okay. Copy it from this slide and we're going to paste it on top of the clouds. Reason for that is if we go to full screen right now, the bottom line is entirely white and this will help us make a transition to a new slide. Let's create a new slide, remove the text, and now let's add a push transition. Push transition from the bottom, set it to two seconds. And if we then preview, this is a pretty cool effect where if you push the clouds and everything will rise up and you get a clean white slide to start from. On this slide, you can add your content. Let's say we add some content to the slide, give it the same colors as the rest of the presentation, could be some dummy texts or it doesn't really matter. This is just to give an example. And if you then play and you click, you will transition nicely to the first slide of your presentation.